When the first rays of sunlight warm the forest, a very special animal awakes. It's been hibernating for the past few months, dug into the ground. Now the snail senses that spring has come. This burgundy snail, for example, has sealed off its shell with a lime lid, barely a millimetre thick. In spring, the snail pushes open the lid and starts digging its shell out of its little pit. This normally takes hours and hours, but we've speeded up the film. The snail uses its nimble foot to wrench open the shell. Incredible that it's strong enough to do this. After all, it hasn't eaten in more than six months. During the past half a year, it has lost more than 10% of its weight. Apart from hunger, there's another thing that's driving this little fellow. It wants to look for a mate. Most European snails are hermaphrodites. They're both male and female. This is incredibly convenient, since a snail can literally mate with any other individual it encounters. After they've coupled, both partners are able to lay eggs and produce baby snails. These two little lovebirds cling together, soul to soul, and move into an upright position. Then they shoot love arrows at each other, loaded with a cocktail of hormones. But the shot needs to hit its mark pretty accurately. The more hormones transferred from one animal to the other, the more eggs are fertilized. Snails aren't particularly faithful to their partners, and any opportunity to couple must be seized. Love making will take hours and hours, but it's a pace that matches the rest of a snail's life. The banded snail is a close relative of the burgundy snail. It mates in the same position. The snail's genitals are situated in the front of its head. After the squirmy, squishy mating ritual, both snails dig holes in the ground and lay up to 50 eggs. The sheer amount is amazing, considering that the snail is such a frail little creature. Once the snail has laid its eggs, its duties as a parent have been fulfilled. The babies will have to fend for themselves. After two weeks, the little ones hatch from their eggs. They immediately start munching on their eggshells. The lime will help them to build up their individual snail shells. The freshly hatched banded snails already have fully developed bodies, but they're still absolutely minuscule, barely bigger than the tip of a ballpoint pen. Only a few days after being born, the little ones are eager to leave their safe hiding place. They creep out into a world that's astonishingly huge from their perspective. One can only wish them luck. Barely 5% of all baby snails survive the first few weeks of their lives. Bad weather, disease and parasites make their young lives hazardous, but the worst danger of all is birds and other enemies that just love a tender baby snail.